Hello. This is teacher Sheila, and for today's lesson, we will learn about the kinds of mixture. Let's begin. I know that you have already learned about the different phases of matter in your early years in school. Let us find out if you can still remember this lesson. Look at the pictures. Determine if they are solid, liquid and gas. Coffee. Liquid. Balloon. Gas. Milk. Liquid. Bread. Solid. Cloud. Gas. Do you know that phases of matter when combined? can form a mixture? Matter is a component of mixture. Let's elaborate. Mixture is a material made up of two or more different substances, or objects, which are physically combined. This can either be a combination of solid and another solid, solid and liquid, or liquid and liquid. Solid and solid combination. Solid and solid combinations are mixtures that can easily be identified and separated. The hamburger below belongs to solid and solid combination because its ingredients can be separated. Also, these ingredients do not mix together because they keep their distinct property. Other examples of this combination are pebbles and sand, pepper and garlic, and fruits in a basket. Solid and liquid combination. In solid and liquid combination the following should be remembered. If the solid material is lighter, it will float. If the solid material is heavier, it will sink and settle at the bottom. Some solids will not dissolve like sand, rocks, flour. Some solids dissolve when mixed with water. Liquid and liquid combination. Some liquids when mixed to another liquid will evenly distribute and form one phase like vinegar and water. But, in a mixture of water and oil no matter how much we try to mix them, the oil will stay afloat because it is less dense than water. Mixture is classified into two groups. The uniform mixture or homogeneous mixture and the non-uniform mixture or heterogeneous mixture. A uniform mixture or homogeneous mixture is a mixture in which the materials are blended so well that they cannot be separated manually. The word homo comes from the Greek word that means one or the same, that is why its composition is the same throughout. In addition, homogeneous can only be separated by a mechanical process, such as heat or using fine filters. Examples are alloy, plastic, oxygen, nitrogen, blood, wine, and liquor. 
Non-uniform mixture or heterogeneous is non-uniform in composition. The materials can still be identified, so they can be separated manually. The word hetero in Greek word means different, that is why you can easily identify its components. Examples of this mixture are salad, burger, and rocks in the sand. Now, for our first activity, classify each mixture. Say homo if the mixture is an example of homogeneous mixture. And say hetero if it is an example of heterogeneous mixture. Pizza. Is it homo or hetero? Hetero. Juice. Is it homo or hetero? Homo. Shawarma. Is it homo or hetero? Hetero. Fruit smoothie. Is it homo or hetero? Homo. Vegetable salad. Is it homo or hetero? Hetero. For our next activity, read each statement and choose the letter of the correct answer. Write your answer on a piece of paper. 1. Which of the following statements best describe mixture? A. It dissolves completely. B. It cannot be found anywhere. C. It is composed of one substance only. D. It is a combination of two or more substances. 2. Below are examples of mixture. Which of them shows homogeneous mixture? A. Hollow hollow. B. Water and vinegar. C. Gravel and sand. D. Garlic and vinegar. 3. In a combination of two liquids like oil and water, which materials will stay afloat? A. Oil. B. Water. C. Oil and water. D. None of the above. 4. When do you say that the mixture is heterogeneous? A. The particles are evenly distributed. B. The components cannot be identified. C. The components are easily identified. D. The particles are completely dissolved in the other substances. 5. Which of the following is a heterogeneous mixture? A. Sugar and coffee. B. Salt and water. C. Mixed candies. D. Alcohol. These are the answers. Number 1 is D. Number 2 is B. Number 3 is A. Number 4 is C. Number 5 is C. Let's remember. Mixture is classified into two groups. The uniform mixture or homogeneous mixture, and the non-uniform mixture or heterogeneous mixture. In homogeneous mixture, the materials are blended so well that they cannot be separated manually. On the other hand, the materials in heterogeneous mixture are easily identified, and they can be separated manually. Congratulations! You can now describe the appearance of homogeneous and heterogeneous mixtures. See you in our next lesson. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to click the like button. Share this video to your friends. And subscribe to my channel.